Hi everyone, it's Ali and I'm so thrilled to be joining you on the My Favourite Things YouTube channel today as a guest designer and I'm going to show you two ways to achieve this loose watercolour look using the more rustic wildflowers set. So I'm going to start with two pieces of watercolour paper. I'm using the Tim Holtz Distress watercolour paper. I really like the thickness of this paper and it's also quite white and I'm going to use the mustard seed, carved pumpkin, picked raspberry and peeled paint distress inks. You can use a paintbrush or an aquash brush for this technique. I decided to use a paintbrush today. It was a little thicker and it allowed me to put more water down at one time. So I'm just going to start by putting a rough circle of water onto the watercolour paper. Then I'm going to grab my acrylic block and put a bit of the mustard seed colour on there. Then I'm dabbing it onto that water circle. I'm concentrating more of the colour at the bottom of that circle because I want that to be like the base of the flower. And then I add more water to the top if I want that to be a little bit, um, little bit watered down. And I'm creating another rough circle for the next flower. And I'm going to use carved pumpkin next. So same technique, just putting down that circle of water and then dabbing on the colour. Then I decided that I wanted to do the next one in the pink picked raspberry. Um, but before I put that on, I thought I would just dry off those two circles with my heat tool because I didn't want the colours to merge too much. So I just quickly dried it off a little there. Then I went in with my water circle again and added the picked raspberry. Just a smaller flower underneath this time. Any little splashes or anything I just dabbed off with a baby wipe as I was going along. Once I was happy with that, I went back in with the mustard seed to another flower and then the carved pumpkin as well to do the last flower. I did dry them off in between again so that the colours didn't merge too much and become too muddy. And then back in with the picked raspberry, sorry, just for the last flower there. I wanted some leaves as well, so I used the peeled paint and just put down some water in the shape of a leaf, in leaf sort of shape, and then dabbed on the peeled paint. I did that two more times to create three leaves. And that is the first technique. So once you've dried it off, you get this lovely, light, sort of freehand watercolour look. So the second technique, I'm going to use my Mini Misty and those sort of filled in images, I suppose, of the flowers to put the ink down. So again prepare your paper with a little bit of water. Place the ink on those stamps. And then stamp it on to the water. I didn't have quite enough water on the paper so I wanted the colours to merge a little bit more so I'm just going to spray it a little bit when the, my water bottle spritz are there heat set it with my heat tool so it doesn't merge too much together. I did the same thing again, I cleaned off the stamps and replaced them on the paper and did another mustard seed and another picked raspberry flower and three leaves. Just making sure that's nice and dry and then I completed the others and dried it all off with my heat tool. So that's the second technique and you can see you get a little bit more of a concentrated colour with this technique obviously because you're not watering down the um, distress ink quite so much. Now I'm going to finish off the first piece and show you how I finished the cards and I use the images from the stamp set to create the flower centres. 
I just picked out the ones that matched the size of the watercolour circles that I had and placed them on and the leaf and now I'm going to use my VersaFine ink pad to ink those up and because I've used the Tim Holtz paper on the distressed side the rough side I did need to stamp these I think it was three times to get a really nice crisp image because the paper surface is quite rough I needed those other two leaves done so I just went ahead and stamped those again with VersaFine and in the set there's these gorgeous little centers for the uh, for the flowers sorry and they match up to certain flowers but I didn't worry too much about that I just put them in the flowers that I thought looked good and again inked up with VersaFine and stamped them on and that completes all the stamping for that card the next thing to do was grab a base card I'm just going to cut that watercolour piece down so there's a thin white border around the edge and now for my sentiment I decided to have it on a black piece of card and it's the world needs more you was the sentiment I chose I'm going to use my mini misty to stamp that in VersaFine ink just using my powder tool there to get rid of any static on the paper I'm using my VersaMark ink there Stamp that down. And then cover that with white embossing powder. Slightly tap off my card over the container. And then heat set with my heat tool. I trimmed that down a little bit more. Also I use my scalpel afterwards. If there's any little bits of embossing powder that are not on the words I just gently scrape them off with my scalpel and then I'm using a piece of black and white paper from the black and white paper pad from my favorite things my favorite paper pad I'm just going to put a small strip of that underneath the sentiment strip then I'm just lining that up adhering that on and trimming off any excess from the back Now all that's left to do is to attach that piece to my base card, use my roller tape glue again. I thought that it, perhaps it needed a little bit more to finish off and usually sequins or my favourite thing to use are the pretty pink posh water droplets. So I got three of those and I placed them on the card and I attached them with my multimedia matte glue and precision tip. So that finishes off the card and I did the exact same thing with my other piece and I'll show you the first card obviously this is the first card and it's quite that lighter watercolour effect this is the second card using the misty technique I hope you enjoyed my video thanks again for joining me and have a great day